Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the new mounting kit for the Shade Stopper 100 Flex Panels. Now these panels are really cool because they are shade tolerant. They have a bunch of built-in diodes, so if you end up shading these, you still get a bunch of power output. And the fact that these come with a no-drill mounting kit is even better. So mounting these to a top of a trailer without drilling any holes should be a breeze. Now I want to quickly demonstrate the main advantage to using a 100 watt shade stopper panel versus a normal 100 watt panel. Now both these panels are almost identical. They have half cut cells, they have nine bus bars, and the same amount of cells in each one, so they put out very similar power. For example, I just tested these in full sun and I was getting 95 watts on each one, but what happens as they are partially shaded? I've taken this chair and I've put a shadow on the shade stopper panel. There are four cells that are shaded. Let's see how much power we're getting from that panel. So we are currently charging my battery at around 61.8 to 62 watts of power, even with that shading. Now to demonstrate the difference of a normal solar panel, I've shaded four of these cells. So let's see how the power output compares. So with the normal 100 watt solar panel, we are only getting 17 watts of charging with that same pattern of shading. Now the main difference in the technology of this solar panel is it has many of these bypass diodes. So when you have shading on any of these cells, power likes to take the path of least resistance. So instead of going through the shaded cell, it is going to go through the diode and skip on to the next solar cell. So that's how you get more power through these because all the built-in diodes. So you guys can see that there is a huge difference in performance when it comes to partial shading between these two solar panels. And that's why I've opted to go with the shade stopper panels because I plan to go camping with this enclosed trailer and there's often a bit of shade where I go camping. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing a more in-depth testing video, I do have one of those on the shade stopper panels. I'll include that down in the video description below, but let's get back to the build. Now the install kit comes with very detailed step-by-step -step instructions and they even have a couple training videos on the backside if you're interested. So inside the kit you get these feet that have VHB tape and metal plates that stick down to the roof with these bolts that go up through the bottom and then you secure it down with washers and nuts. Now each solar panel kit comes with a corrugated plastic sheet that sticks to the back of the solar panel so you get an insulation factor and also some air venting so it can cool down as the vehicle is moving. Now the first step that I've already completed is attaching the corrugated plastics to the back of each one of these solar panels. First you take the included alcohol wipes and you wipe down the back of the solar panel and then you peel off the uh, protective coating on the VHB tape and then you just stick it to the back. Now it lines up perfectly with these pre-drilled holes with the grommets that are on each of the solar panels. Now in the next step, you take the metal foot and you feed it through the corrugated plastic and the solar panel grommet and you attach on the washer and the nut. Now there are actually six of these per panel and this is what it should look like once you are finished. So the next step of the project is actually laying your solar panels out how you want them on the trailer. Now I've decided to put them here at the front and I have them as close together as they can be and they just barely fit within the trailer. So this is actually a pretty good setup. I offset this one a little bit forward so that the feet uh, can go a little closer together. Now you wanna make sure that you leave enough room for cable management out front and some sort of entry point for the solar panel wires. Now with these solar panels, I have the option to wire them together in parallel or series. And I think for now, I'm gonna stick with a parallel configuration. Now it's important to mention that I did clean the entire trailer roof with soap and water and scrubbed it down before I did this just so the solar panels have a better chance of sticking. Now once you have the solar panels right where you want them, the final step is taking the included Scotch-Brite pad. You are going to scuff up the aluminum under each one of these feet and then you are going to clean it with alcohol and then stick it down. Now each one of these solar panels have six contact points where they attach down. I'm going to start with the middle one and then I'm gonna add on the two secondary panels so they're not in the way. Okay guys, all the solar panels are installed. That process was not bad at all. The final step was using a 7 16 wrench to tighten down all of the nuts. And now they are all tightened down. The solar panels feel super secure. Now I just need to manage the cables up front and figure out how I wanna get them through the roof. Okay guys, we are making progress. I have all the solar panels now wired together and the cables are organized. So this is a parallel wiring combination. So it's positive to positive to positive, negative to negative, negative, 
and then you have a main positive and negative terminal coming off to go inside the trailer. So to break that down really quick, this is the negative and this is the negative and those are routed into a two to one and then this positive comes out over here. And then I have that same wiring. So all of them come together in the middle with another two to one parallel set. So then it's just two main connectors that are gonna go into the bottom of the trailer using this cap here. I have um, 10 gauge solar UV wire and this lap sealant to stick that thing down. Now you'll notice that I've taped these down so that they don't come up and they stay organized. And that is using this Eternabond UV rated butyl tape. This stuff is super sticky and it seems to work really well. So now in order for the wires to go inside the trailer, I drilled this inch and a half hole and then I've routed these solar cables through this waterproof cap. I've put butyl tape around the bottom of it. So you can see I have the positive wire here and the negative wire right there. I'm gonna stick this down and then I'm going to use this lap sealant. This works really well. It's self-leveling. I used it for that fan when I installed it and I think it'll work well for this cap right here. So check it out guys, these solar panels are finished. At least the rooftop section. All the panels are mounted down, the wiring is completed, and here's a closer look at that waterproof cap with the self-leveling sealant on it. Everything turned out pretty good. So I've just finished routing the wires on the inside of the trailer, so let me go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. So up here where it goes through the aluminum roof, I have some wire loom to protect the wires. Then I just have it nice and tidy along that beam, and it goes down straight into the charge controller. So eventually I will have a DC disconnect, but to test it out right now, I just have it connected in the charge controller, charging up my battery. Now I definitely feel that this is a DIY project that most people can handle. They include very good step-by-step -step instructions, but let's say you don't have an enclosed trailer or you just want to use one panel on your vehicle. Well, that's where this comes in. They actually have this really cool rigid frame mounting system and this attaches to one of their 100 watt solar panels. And this is designed to attach directly to the roof rack rails of your car, SUV, or truck. So if you want to have the shade stopper advantage of having really good power output when it's shaded, but you want something that's really lightweight and can come off easily, then check out this kit here. This is meant to hook directly onto those roof rack rails. So really cool design. And because this uses an extruded aluminum uh, frame, you have the ability to attach things to this as well. And they do include some accessories and brackets for attaching lights or whatever else you want to attach to this setup. So they do have another option if you don't have an enclosed trailer or you don't want to directly stick something down to the top of your roof. Now, just to give you guys a little perspective, if anybody's questioning about the durability of these ETFE flexible solar panels, this array here, I built a year ago using a similar extruded aluminum design. These are 200 watt flex panels and they are still putting out full power and they look really good, even after a full year. Now I definitely plan to give you guys an update on the solar panels that are installed on my roof. I'll probably give you guys maybe a six month update or even a year update to let you guys know how everything has gone so far. But I feel that there's a very durable install and I don't have any worries about the solar panels coming off. Now, if you guys are interested in Shade Stopper technology, check out their website. I'll include that down in the video description. I appreciate them sending out these solar panels for this video. It's pretty cool. They're a local company right where I live with engineers that are designing this here in the United States. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll recommend a couple of the videos that you can check out. We'll see you guys in the next video.